So, if we were going to get into one of the questions I get asked the most, it would be, Simon, how do I go to the gym? How do I train? How do I get my weightlifting in when I'm not motivated or I can't be bothered to go? And I actually think this is an interesting topic to discuss even though it kind of sounds mundane, because it is probably the biggest hurdle that you will come up against constantly in your gym life. Because let's say you start going to the gym when you're 20 years old. Do you want to stop when you're 25? No, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50? No. If anything, you want to be 70 years old and still going to the gym. And there are studies out there that show if you do continue to sort of work your body in that way, you may actually extend your life, which is why you always have to remember that while we're living for the here and now, when it comes to going to the gym, the fitness palace of love, you want to aim for you know, preservation and longevity and the long-term aim. So always remember that. If you get injured, take a few days off. You don't have to worry about it. But of course, because you are a human being, because you have a brain, and because sometimes you are going to wake up and your brain is going to be like, I don't want to do this today, but you know you still have to go to the gym. I just thought I'd tell you what I do in case you can garner anything from my own experiences, or you can take it and you can throw it into a metaphorical toilet. Now, I will say there's a caveat to this. Sometimes listen to your body and listen to your brain. If you really can't be bothered and everything within your being is telling you, I don't want to do this, I don't want to go, sometimes it's actually a good way to realize that you need the day off, right? We have to rest. You can't just train all the time. Rest and recovery is equally as important to your diet, to your nutrition, to your training. So try and be in tune with your feelings like a Jedi as much as you possibly can. But also don't get it confused with just being lazy. Sometimes we're just feeling lazy. Maybe you haven't eaten right that day. Maybe your sleep hasn't been that good. Maybe you're getting too much stress from your work life, your personal life, your relationship life. So your cortisol levels are going to through the roof. That's going to affect your workout too. And that's why I have a system for things like this. And for me, it works 95% of the time. What's that Anchorman quote? 60% of the time it works every time. Bingo. Thank you, Ron Burgundy. But seriously, when you don't want to go to the gym, let's say that it's, I don't know, back and buys day. You're a bit of a bro. You're doing a bro split. Good to you. I'm a push pull legs, man. Once more, make sure you enjoy the gym. That's the most important thing. So you're going to do back and buys and you think, man, I don't want to deadlift. I don't want to lap pull down. I don't even want to get that amazing sweet pump in my biceps with the vein because I just can't be bothered. Well, here's what you do. Let's say your average workout takes you about 90 minutes. And again, don't worry about how long your workouts take. Maybe it's 60 minutes. Maybe it's two hours. Personally, I think that's too long. But if it's working for you, continue to do it but we'll stick with 90 minutes for this analogy so you go for 90 minutes but today you tell yourself okay it's 6 p.m i'll be in the gym by quarter past six and today i will make sure i'm out the gym by 7 p.m that's right you're going to cut your workout in half so no longer do you have to do 90 minutes you only have to do 45 minutes now that could mean you do fewer exercises that could mean you do fewer sets that could mean you do fewer reps that is really tying or it could just mean that you leave a shorter amount of rest between the sets you are doing. So if you're usually like a two minute guy, but now you're like, you know what? I want to get done in half. You only lose a minute. And sometimes it actually will work, right? Because your body's not used to it. Your body's not expecting it. We do get into a pattern and a routine with the gym. And sometimes that's actually not for the best. So we need to do things to shock our body into growth. So all of a sudden doing these quick sets, even though you are trying to compact it in, means you may actually have a better session for it. You may even wake up with the wonderful DOMS delayed onset muscle soreness. However, that's probably not what's going to happen because by the time you got to the gym and by the time you've warmed up and you've done your dynamic stretching you've done your cardio and you've got your back and biceps ready to go usually your brain kicks in you're like well i'm here now and you're probably taking some pre-workout too but i'm here now i've got my caffeine i'm stimulated let's just get it done so you do your deadlifts and you do your lap pull downs and you do your rows and you do whatever else the hell you want to do your, your hyper extensions your lower back work and then you move on to your biceps and before you know it what time do we go to the gym quarter past six let's say it's eight o'clock you got your workout in you're feeling good you go home and you pat yourself on the back now ultimately even if that doesn't happen and you do kind of speed up and you do get it done in 45 minutes, you still went to the gym. If we're looking at it in a seven day period, is it great that you rush? Not particularly, but we're not worried about what we're doing within the seven days. We're worried what we're doing over this 50 year period that we talked about at the start of the video. It's the same with your diet. Let's say you fall off the wagon and you have 3,500 calories on a Tuesday. As long as you balance it out on a Wednesday and as long as your calories throughout that week, the month, the year isn't going too crazy, you're going to be perfectly fine. It's the old old metaphor that always works or the old, uh, whatever the word would be, catchphrase. But don't worry about what you eat on Thanksgiving. And don't worry about what you eat on Christmas Day. Worry about what you eat between Thanksgiving. So 2023 Thanksgiving, to 2024 Thanksgiving. Same with Christmas, Hanukkah, your birthday, whatever. That's what counts. That's what counts. I use the word again. It's the longevity. It's the consistency. It's the dedication. It's the discipline. So you can go crazy with your diet. You shouldn't, but it's going to happen. Once again, you're just a person. Sometimes you are going to go to the gym and have to drag yourself and be so annoyed that you're not as strong. You're not as motivated. You're not as focused. But as long as the next time back and buys rolls around, which will be the following Tuesday, let's just say, and you totally smash it, then it kind of balances out. Maybe you smash it more than you would have done otherwise. So when you take these two sessions, you're 
you're still at 100% because it balanced out. And that is the key. So I always like to say this to people because I find people spend too much time beating themselves up because they don't want to go. Whereas actually, just find that teeny bit of motivation, get yourself to the gym, which sometimes can be the hardest part. And either A, you'll get your old workout done anyway, or two, you will speed through it. You'll listen to your body, you'll come home, but you still got that workout in. Because working out is better than not working out. Two plus two equals four, right? Don't have to worry about two plus two equals potato. That's right, I'm throwing my wrestling catchphrases in there now too. You can keep it at this level. So that's how I do it. That's how I've always done it. I'll be completely honest with you. Going to the gym for me is like a roller coaster fanatic going to a fun fair. So I never really struggle that much because I find it exciting. But of course, sometimes I'm down in the dumps and I struggle with it a little bit. But I always remind myself, well, get there and do what you can. And that's enough sometimes. You're only in competition with yourself. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing, your friends, your family whoever else may be smashing it out there worry about what you need to do and always remember as long as you're being intense as long as you are getting it done you know most of the time i don't even want to put a percentage mark on it you will see gains you will see progress and you will see evolution and that's the most important thing but always remember entertaining yourself and enjoying it is is the absolute number one and never lose sight of that so i'm hoping to do more of these kind of sort of short vlog-esque videos if you like them please do leave a comment below also notification bell smash that i'd really appreciate it like the video share the video and subscribe there's another video on the screen click that that's the most important thing don't have to watch it click it leave the room as long as youtube thinks it's playing it's totally fine if Again, you are looking for motivation. You think that stimulants are the way to do it, or supplements, I should say. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. Use can Simon get 10% off. Now, again, these are supplements. Look up what that word means. But they do have their brand new Grillamind energy drinks, which are fantastic, honestly. If I've had a long old day with edits and making videos and I need that extra perk to get to the gym, it really does switch me on. Actually, I should say it probably switches me on more when I need to get those edits done because not only does it give you energy, it gives you focus, it gives you motivation and it enhances your brain somehow as well because it's nootropic. So I can't recommend them enough. You can just go to Simon get 10% off. Otherwise, patreon.com forward slash Simon316 at Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Love for you to give me a follow. Send me a message. Cameo for personalized video. Search for my name and merchandise, of course. Samson Athletics and Pro Wrestling Tees. All of it is in the description down there. Click and support as much as you are able most importantly, I appreciate your time. Again, don't worry if you're not motivated today. The motivation will come back. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the goal. Be nice to yourself. Nothing more important than that. See you soon.